All right, everyone, here we go with the week of September 22nd through the 28th, 2024. Uh, tomorrow on Sunday, I'm going to start your October readings. because, As always, our calendars don't mean shit. Okay? They're just pieces of paper. The energies bleed in. So we have the energy that will be occurring in the time that we're calling October sort of beginning to roll in here this week. So some of what I'm saying here on this weekly reading may reflect in some of the October readings. Okay, might, might not. I don't, you know, I, can't, I don't control the energy. I'm just letting you know. That's it. This week. Here we go. Let's do it. Um, I've got a pre-shuffle. I often do that for the weekly reading, and I got one here. It's very interesting. Okay? I've got the Page of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Swords. I've got a very whisper, shh, whisper of fucking truth. Whisper. It's there. The truth is there. But it's drowned out by a bunch of bullshit, double talk, rhetoric, round and round and round. Okay? I'm not even going to tell you what this reminds me of. But at the end of the day, put your listening ears on. Whether it's out there in the world, watching people speak, or whether it's just a conversation you have with a soulmate, which is definitely showing up here. Soulmate cycle is a direct reflection of societal energies, though. Keep in mind here to put your, you, you see those ears right there? Put your listening ears on. Okay, you'll have to read between the lines this week. All right? All right. Now, we saw in the Friday reading somebody finding a use for you, or maybe those feelings. So maybe that happens. I don't know. But there's a whisper of truth in everything. But this, this week, it's just drowned out by a bunch of bullshit and double talk. All right? So you've got to put your listening ears on. You've got to pay attention. To people's actions and things like that. No matter what conversation. It could be with your grocer. It doesn't matter. All right? It's one of those weeks. So, we ask what actions the incoming energies, the energies attached to you that we pulled on, on Friday, are likely to take in the coming week. I'm not a fucking time lord. Right? So, this might happen this week. It might happen next week. It might happen a week before. You know, it could. Um, if you're here, you're here for a reason. Could just be one thing I say. Who knows? It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take it for what it's worth. But here we go. Uh, one card for each sign, and we clarify. Overall energy is ten pentacles, fueled by the moon. You have this is this is someone's secret. This is this could play out a lot of ways. This could be a secret admirer. This could be someone who secretly wants your life. It just reeks of jealousy. It reeks of it. This is your life. This is all. Look at you with your fucking ten of pentacles, you motherfucker. And somebody here is hiding this wave of jealousy for it. Oh, oh, oh man, it's there. All right. Or, again, energies can play out a thousand different ways. This particular energy could also be somebody who's, who's afraid to actually come towards you because you're the real deal. It could be that, too. But for, for a good number of you watching, this is just jealousy. This is just somebody, and they're hiding it. It's seething under the surface. Okay. Right. This could be an interesting week. One card for each sign. It's just I'm splitting the soulmate cycle with 12 pieces. We clarify everything. About 9 out of the 12 should resonate. There's no fucking time stamps here for reasons I explained in the Friday reading and in the text at the top of the description. You're all part of a cycle. This is a soulmate cycle. Soulmate cycles are what they are. And the people, only select people, about 20 million people, give or take, most energy readers think, in this particular cycle. There's billions, billion, like 8 billion fucking people in the goddamn world, only 20 million in the soulmate cycle. So if you're part of it, you're here for a reason. It means you've got some kind of destiny. There's something going on. Something left for you to do here. All right? Something for you to learn. Well, I don't know. Maybe you learn about this person. I don't know. Let's go. Overall energy is right there. And we're going to clarify with the witches. Our story begins with Aries, position one. Look at it as numbers, I would, because I'm not your astrologer. And position two ends with position 12. And there is a story here. Let's go. Queen of Swords. Wow. Um, hmm. what, did I tell you? what did I say in the free shuffle about truth? Right? You're going to learn the truth about, how somebody, about feeling somebody's been hiding for you. But I don't think... They're going to be very obvious about it with that moon energy, right? The person attached to you is, is it, the energy is all seven swords, moon, hidden kind of stuff, hidden 
intentions and mo hidden motives. It applies to the soulmate cycle and the societal energies. There's a lot of hidden motives out there. And the, and the answers are right there on the surface. Whether it's people in your life or people out in public, they're right there. You know, you just got to ask yourself, why is this person doing this? You know, why is this person here? If it's somebody coming to talk to you that hasn't talked to you in a while. You know, be, behave like an energy reader this week. Energy readers are like Sherlock Holmes, right? People get on me. They go, oh, sometimes I watch readings and the people just throw the cards and they just read them like that. I said, yeah, they don't fucking, they're not doing anything. They're just, either they're incredibly intuitive or whatever. Energy readers are crazy. We talk to ourselves. We're nutty. We ask questions. It's all a deductive process. Always. Always. So at the end of the day, I'm giving you a real deal here. Take it for what it's worth to you. Behave like I behave on these videos this week and you'll be fine. Now why, now why did that person say that? Right? Here you go. Four of Cups. All right? It's someone telling you, telling you the words, and you're like, huh. the, the, this, it's true. It's someone speaking, but it doesn't mean anything. Someone speaking, and it's it almost it has no feeling to it. It's someone singing with no feeling, right? Sort of a, a spoken word version of a song that has deep deep meaning. What's on top? The lovers. This is powerful soul connection. Somebody doesn't. Somebody's realizing the truth of this connection. You know, it's like somebody in their head going, I'm fucked, right? And they don't know what to do about it, so they just keep talking. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. Why is the lovers here? Two of Cups. It's a powerful connection. It's what I said. This card backs up my energy read. Two of Cups and the lovers in close proximity is huge. Somebody doesn't know what to do with this connection. They got no idea. The environmental energy around this powerful connection that's ripe for some truth to be spoken is somebody who doesn't know what to do. When you don't know what to do, they're not doing anything. I think there is communication here, but I think it's somebody just yammering on and on and on and on and on. Position two, Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Um, you know, this is one of my favorite positions, position two. I don't know why. It just is. This person values you on a high level, but you'd never fucking know it. I mean, it's a thankless energy. Um, they're afraid if they approach you, it's a waste. They want to approach you. They're afraid if they do, it's a waste of time. Okay? It's a waste of time. I don't know why. That's just what I get. Let's go. Queen of Pentacles. Why is it here? This is an amazing start to our story. Pay attention to the pre-shuffle. What I said about the cards at the bottom of the deck here for the overall energy. And pay attention to what I said there. This is almost its own separate issue here. We now kind of move away a little bit. And we get position two here. Somebody wants to approach you. Yeah, this is somebody. Okay, this is this applies. A lot of you were in this position were married to this person or you were together. This is for those of you only where this is an ex. Okay? I thought you may have even been married to this person. I don't know. You certainly are still married in the 5D, which is why you're still a thing to this person. I don't care. Don't come at me and go, Steve, the divorce paperwork, the ink's been dry for five years. Maybe. <laughs> but you're celebrating anniversaries up in the five. They, they're still connected to you. What's on top? The chariot. This soulmate cycle is reawakening this connection for this person. So if you broke up right at the beginning of this soulmate cycle, they knew they fucked up right from the start. Why is the chariot here? A hangman. Yeah. He, he, what did I just say? Look, doesn't he look a little stuck in that tree to you? Right? I don't care if you tell me the divorce ink's been dry for five years, Steve. I don't care. I don't even care if this person passed on. Oh, we were married, but they passed on. Okay. Went on the greener pastures up there in heaven. Okay, fine. Uh, you're still connected. Something's still going on with this connection. There's still something to work out. And the soulmate cycle keeps bringing it back like a skipping record. It won't get past a certain point. They are not coming towards you in this week's energy anyway. And again, I'm not a fucking time lord. Could be next week, could be whatever. Because they think it'll be a waste of time. They're wrong. That's just the batshit crazy perspective they're choosing to look at it. So they're moving in another direction. It's fine. Same kind of energy I have here of somebody who can't fathom this connection. So their reaction to it is four of cups. It's, oh, I don't want it. It's nothing. It's no good. Right. Okay. Very interesting. So, uh, Gemini, position three. Let's go. Let's move these over. 
Page of Cups. Somebody's afraid to start new. I don't remember what you got in the Friday reading. This feels like familiar energy. I don't think you got a Page of Cups. I don't remember a Page of Cups on the table. But um, this is a Page of Cups. This is somebody here who's, who's very, very skittish about starting a new connection because Again, we have Venus transiting through Scorpio. It, it starts on Sunday, really, but it's here. The energy is here. I wouldn't have pulled on it when I did if it wasn't. And we have somebody here who's, who's nervous about that because of past influence, past things that someone said to them in the past. Really, it, it's like this person has some hang-ups. They broke free of that energy, but that energy is living rent-free in their head, and it limits them on such a high level. Right? It's like, oh, it's the kind of thing to make somebody bad in bed, too, because they got a lot of inhibitions, you know? Come on, let yourself go relax a little bit. If you're not going to relax, I'm going to leave, okay? I have said that on occasions. I have in the past. I'm, if you're not going to fucking chill out, stop worrying about your fucking hair, all right? I don't give a fuck about it. Let's go. Why, why is the page, and I ain't talk about the hair on your legs. What's going on with the page of cups here? <laughs> by temperance. But he's, the energy is there for this person to get a grip. They're getting, or are they getting a grip? We're asking what actions they're taking. I feel like some, I don't feel like this is here yet. I feel like they need to tap into this. And in order to tap into it, they probably need to allow themselves to feel. If they do, they will call in the energy that will allow them to get a grip. Okay? I could put it that way. It's the easiest way to phrase it. What's on top? Star, yeah. The energy is right this week for this person to get a fucking grip. Okay. All right. Why is the star here? King of Swords. Yeah. Eye of the Tiger. Right? I got old Survivor ringing in my head right now. It's the Eye of the Tiger. It's the Rocky Three or some shit. I don't know. We fought Mr. T. I remember. Everybody remember Mr. T? Whatever happened to him? Anyway. Um, I used to eat his cereal. Uh. King of Swords, it's my king of action. It's there. They can do it this week, but they've got to allow themselves to feel. If they do, this person might, might just show up your way. It'll be very shy. You'll have to find, you'll have to dig for the reason they're there. You go ahead and trust your intuition on that one. Okay? But somebody really did a number on this person. Somebody really jammed them up with the shit they told them. Maybe their kid that got picked on at school. I don't know. You know? I know we had a kid in my class, his name was Billy Smith, and Billy did a number on a lot of people. There's a lot of people, I am sure, I mean, it was many decades ago, but there's a lot of people, I am sure, who are going to therapists because of Billy Smith. I mean, he just picked on, man, that kid, I mean, he had a rough home life, so he took it out on everybody else at school, but I mean, man, wow. All right. I remember this one girl, I felt really bad for her. She, she was like an adopted uh, foster home kind of kid who was there at the school temporary. He ripped her to shreds all because she had kind of a hair lip. I said, ah, poor girl. I hope she okay. All right. I don't remember her name. I just remember he used to call her um, Liposaurus or Ellipse. He used to call her Ellipse. That's, that's terrible. Billy Smith, if you're watching, fuck you. Right here, cancer, the hot spot of the connection cycle. Book ends over here. Um, and again, I don't tell you stories that aren't part of this energy. That's how this person was affected. All right? She, she was affected. She had to have been affected. I don't remember her name. I just remember Ellipse. Okay, that's it. That's all I remember. Uh, and he got that name because we were studying elliptical orbits in uh, science class. I remember, I remember that now. Oh, fuck you, Billy. Asshole. Here we go. Devil. There it is. Yeah. What am I talking? Bill There's Billy Smith right there. <laughs> I think his family even had goats. That That is true. That is wow. I picked up on that. So, okay, so Billy Smith from my school means something to this reading. Okay, why? What was Billy Smith about? See, this is how the universe sends you messages. It's important to this. And don't come at me and go, my person's name is Billy Smith. It's like the third most common name in the fucking world. Okay, you're certainly here in the United States anyway. Okay, fine. Your person's last name is Smith. Whoa, I'm fucking amazing. You know, no, I'm serious. It's a real person I'm talking about here. Not that your person isn't real. Um, this person is the cause of their own problems. Billy Smith always was. 
You know, he had a rough home life, right? He did, took it out on other people. Somebody here, somebody attached to you, realizes that they took out something that somebody else did to them on you. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't see them doing a damn thing about it. I see them realizing it. I see them looking the goat square in the face. And I don't see them doing jack shit this week. All right? Even with Venus and Scorpio. I'm just, hey, I could be wrong. I'm clarifying right now. All right? It's okay. Why do I say that? Well, this here is bookending these cards here. And crossing here was a four of cups. Four of Cups is the guy, is the kid with his arms crossed and the really hot blonde girl next to him who came to the river to bang. Okay, I mean I don't see anything happening there. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. You don't want to disappoint a girl either. You disappoint them, that's hard to come back from. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, what's going on here? This person's letting themselves down. Why? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, this is what they're putting out. We're getting the energy that they're, that this, this, is, this applies to a good number of you. This is Miles Sign's position. All right. Uh, we're getting the energy that they're putting out. It's two of wands. They're setting the attention, intention to come towards you. Setting the intention to come towards you. But then they're shutting it down. And this is because this is that goat energy Right, that devil energy that I talked about in the extended for the Scorpio Venus reading, where it's the specific frequency of devil energy that tells you nobody gonna find out, nobody will know if you never do anything, right? No, they're never. In other words, this energy is telling your person that while this person realizes they took someone else's shit out on you, and they're not gonna do anything about it because this goat is saying you're never gonna know how they feel anyway, so it's fine, just let it go. Right? But what they don't know is that you do know how they feel because you got me and I'm telling you. Alright? So they what they want to do is this the environmental energy is encouraging them to set some intention to come towards you, to make some plans. But this goat's much stronger than two wands. Okay? This is a major arcana. What's on top? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean honestly. The goat is what you listen to. Okay, the goat is, they're listening to the goat more. All right? This is a stronger energy. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The magician. Yeah. It's a whole lot of smoke and mirrors energy here. It's a whole lot of lies. Somebody in their own life, they just, they just they're afraid to, to lose face. It's the easiest way to put it. I mean, do I think this person will do it? I don't. I think they're listening to the goat. And the goat is saying, just move in another direction. You'll never know. I, I, I'm going to I'm gonna just hold on a minute. I'm going to pull one more card. I'm going to pull a bridging energy. Give me a bridging energy on the Ace of Pentacles and the uh, Magician. I'm going to double check myself. Because I know I will, we get people that fancy themselves card readers here all the time. I'm not a card reader. I just read the energy. And I know by the cards, I can tell you, it, it might say after a long wait, somebody here might pull their head out of their ass because they're obsessed. And Venus is in Scorpio. I get it. Venus is in Scorpio. And people, you know, tend to just kind of go for what they want for superficial reasons. I, 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 I get it. I, because of the surrounding energies this year, there's not a lot of depth to it, this particular go around. But I just want to see. I want to see what's here. Mm-hmm. It's a hermit, right? Crossed by the Seven of Swords. All right. See, I wanted to pull a bridging energy. The Hermit crossed by the Seven of Swords. Somebody here shuts it down. They just keep shutting it down. All right. They're believing the bullshit. They're believing that their soul is telling them to stay put. Look, it's probably not what you want to hear. I'm sorry. It's just the case. It's just the way this energy is. It's temporary. It's just a weekly reading. It has nothing to do. I mean, it, it just is. It's just... It's what's there. It's Billy Smith. Realizing that he... I'm sure by now Billy Smith has realized he fucked up a lot of people's lives by being an asshole. I doubt he's reached out to any of them and apologized. Right? For what? Why? Because of the devil. Because of ego. I don't know. Leo Soap Opera. Position 5. Six of Pentacles. Look. Somebody here gets it. I don't, I don't know what it means. Somebody here is feeling feeling good feeling abundant feeling balanced 
feeling like they figured something out. It's minor arcana. That's the only thing that worries me. I wish this was temperance. It's not. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Just being honest with you. I know, honesty is never rewarded. I, I tell you. Uh, it's the Eight of Pentacles crossing it. Somebody thinks they've got it figured out. They know what they want to do. So far, so good. This is great. Six of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Pentacles. This guy's working. He's building these. These are good quality products. He sends them out. He gets five stars. Beautiful product in the ratings and everything. He makes more. Everything's fine. Abundance comes in. This is all good. It's also all minor arcana. I'll explain what that means in a moment when it all goes to shit. What's on top? Seven of Pentacles. It's good. Got it. All right. Somebody feels like the time is right. <laughs> I took a peek. <laughs> Why am I always right? I don't want to be right. I'm not always right. All right. I'm annoyingly right, my friends say. Uh, I, I am wrong sometimes. I am, but not today. It's the five, five of swords. It's just... Uh, it's, it's all revved up and ready to go and... It's like you get the car packed, you're ready to go on vacation, you're all set, everything went smooth, everything bolted to the car properly, you're good to go, the car's all gassed up, and right before you get in the driver's seat, you for some reason take your buck knife out and poke a hole in the tire and pop it. Okay? Why the fuck did you do that? Everything was perfect. Everything was perfect until somebody's inner shithead kicks in. I, I don't know what else to say. They're... They think they've got it figured out. They think it, now's the time to do it. We're ready to go, but they're just missing something. Do I need to pull a bridging energy here? I will. I will pull a bridging energy here because it's tied to this devil for sure. These two often tie together. And that's why the, I say with the Leo soap opera, there's more people who should be watching it than are. You know, that should be a 20,000 view series. It's a 10,000 view series. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm, I'm the guy doing the read the energy. I know that's a really big storyline for the something about the Leo angle in this soulmate cycle, even though it's not Leo themed. Uh, it just ties to the Cancerian angle so strongly, which is the theme energy. All right. What's the bridging energy here? Why? Why? What? What happened? What? Ha <laughs> it's yeah. What did I say? I said it ties to this verification. The two of wands was crossing over here. Here it is. The two of wands from the top, and it's crossed by the moon. They just at the last minute chicken out. It's the five of swords, the stabbing themselves in the foot is a last minute chicken out. Why? Because they're listening to the goat. Whatever the goat is telling them. Ego, trying to save face. Whatever it is, however you want to phrase it. That's what's going on. Okay. <sighs> Should I take a break? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. We're going to keep going. All right. Sometimes I get so angry after this one, I take a break. I, I'm, I'm not going, nope. Six. Motherfucker, I'm, can I just fuck you, okay? I, why would you do that? Right here, six. Virgo, position six. Sometimes my wild card, sometimes you guys show up here. I hope the fuck you do. Ace of Cups. It's not you. It's not. It's, it's somebody is holding on to a lot of love for you. It's going to start to leak out this week. Okay, I'm just drawn to the leakage here. The little yellow spots here. Pay attention. Put your lit pay attention to what I say, all of you. This is you guys showing up here, so it's about 90% of you. This is for. Put your listening ears on, but also listening ears means watch people's actions. Okay? Somebody's holding on to a lot of love for you. It's going to leak out a little bit this week. It could be they, they it's someone at work and they put their hand on their sh on your shoulder a little too much, uh, too often, or for too long, or uh, they want to just make up conversation. Just be observant, okay? Why is the Ace of Cups here? There's some reason you're getting this information. Maybe it's important. I don't know. It's a wall. You might you you'll be able to see it. Look, this is the environmental energy. Nine wands. Nines of the end of tarot. They can't take it anymore. It's getting, you're getting close. But right now in this week's energy, you'll just be able to kind of see it through the cracks. You'll need to peep it. Peep how they feel. You'll be able to see it. That's yellow. That's yellow. See the sun back there? 
right what's on top page of cups again it just keeps saying it's growing and growing and growing right I mean if they do they wearing sweatpants to work you'll definitely see it no doubt about it oh I, I know what Steve was talking about it's growing yeah right there but I'm talking about the tidal wave on the card here right can't hide it too much longer right can't not too much longer is that hair gonna be dry all right what's going on why is the page of cups here page of page of wands mm. somebody just go to it's possible it is possible this week that someone just takes a shot says he want to go grab a cup of coffee don't react whoever it is just go do what you want to do I'm not here to tell you what to do okay obviously if it's some stranger who comes to you work in a store and it's some whack job stranger or something like that obviously don't go have a drink with rapey McRaperman don't be stupid but at the end of the day I think you know this person you, you see this person on a daily basis I guarantee it All right. they might take a chance if nothing else you will see you will see through the bullshit it's what we talked about in the pre-shuffle about a little faint whisper of truth in a sea of bullshit. All right, all right, here we go. Also, if they if they babble when they talk to you, it's a sign in public that somebody doesn't know the answer to a question. It's a, it's a sign in a relationship where somebody again has a lot of feelings and they don't quite know how to process them. And we know that because that's where our story began. Okay. All right, Libra, position seven, six of cups. Um, I know what you want me to say. You want me to say someone from your past is returning. It's the Six of Cups, Steve. That's what it means. That's what everybody says. And yeah, you sound like that. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, someone from your past is returning. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay. See, I got a big smile on my face. Well, you can't see, but I do. And you got a smile right now, right? We're all smiling. Somebody from your past is returning. You wanted it, you got it. Toyota. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I, I was going to say it. I, and you know I was being sarcastic, right? I said, right? okay, you want it, you got it. Someone from your past is returning. But I said, I don't think you're, I don't think it's gonna be disappointing and there it is disappointment page of swords yeah yeah I don't know that you want this person returning but you got some unfinished business with this person you got a little bit of karma to blow out for me this might be Billy Smith maybe his sister watches the reading and she goes see remember Steve you remember Steve he sat in the back of the room little skinny kid weird with a notebook right yeah you remember him he got a YouTube channel he was talking about you yeah called you a fucker yeah I did disappointing who's returning okay whoever it is could be somebody from childhood but that doesn't have to be it just is disappointing what's on top you fool this person um, is under it just it's like really random and it's like why is the fool here the eight of cups somebody who hasn't been around for a long time somebody you might even not want to see they're eight broken cups okay and you were just done with it and this person shows up like nothing ever happened. We, oh, I dropped, oh, my, my cards. Look at that. I had a bunch of cards that fell. My Somnia deck fell off the table. I'll pick it up later. Okay. Yeah. Again, you walked away. Done. Done with this. This person shows up like nothing. It's very, dis, very small energy. Very disappointing. It's okay. There's a reason it's happening. I will tell you that. There is a reason it's happening. So, go with it. Okay. Okay. Someone from your past is returning. You wanted it. You got it. Uh, Hot Scorpio. Position eight. Nine of wands. Why are you... What? You're... Wow. This is like your energy here. This is... You're putting up the nine of wands. You're defensive towards something and you don't know why. You keep asking yourself, why, why aren't I enjoying this more? Something's going on. Either you're with a person in the coming week or you're doing something. And you keep asking yourself, 
Why am I not having more fun? I should be having more fun or I should be enjoying this or I should be more relaxed. And, and what that does is it creates, it calls in this energy. Like energy attracts like energy, right? So there isn't, the, the wall doesn't exist. There isn't any illusion. There isn't any fun you should be having or way you should be experiencing something. You, this energy is just showing up because you keep saying that. Okay, you got some kind of self-fulfilling prophecy coming. All right, just relax. Enjoy the ride this week. All right, chill. Okay, don't ask too many questions. Put it down. Put the burden down for a week. You're not doing anything you shouldn't be doing. You're not enjoying any some, something any less than you should be. You just exist. Okay, why is the Nine of Wands here? As if I haven't already said it. The Six of Wands. You're blocking your, you're cock blocking your own fucking success. It's what I just said. It's Six of Wands. It's victory crossing this. You're snatching defeat from the hands of victory. I should be enjoying this more. I don't know why I'm not. Why am I not? Why aren't you just neutral? That's what I teach you. I've never sat there and done said anything like that. I don't. I, if and if I do, I catch myself. Right. Although I did use that line once at jury duty. I remember I got a good laugh from the room too. I said to myself, I said, you know, I should be enjoying this a lot more than I am, you know, and everybody just kind of laughed because it's the most boring fucking thing on the, to do on the fucking planet. Anyway, in this case here, you're getting in your own way. What's on top? In my case, I was just trying to make everybody laugh because um, nobody, everybody looked so sad and grim in the room. It's like, okay. I mean, I know it's not fun, but we can at least not look like it's a funeral or something. Um, they had good vending machines, I'll tell you that. Uh, four of Wands. Mm, wow. Wow. Okay, you're getting it. You're, wow. Why is the Four of Wands here? Yeah, the the, the uh, page, of, page of Swords. You're getting in your own way. You're disappointing yourself. By your acting, by your asking this question, you're preventing yourself from walking down this path. Whatever it is this week, just take it for what it is. Okay? Take it as it comes. All right? And then just enjoy the ride. And don't ask yourself, don't think you should be enjoying it more or less or whatever. Just uh, zip it. Okay? All right. All right. Or as the case may be, unzip it and have some fun. Uh, position nine, my sexitarians. Sometimes separate from the reading, sometimes part of it. The high priestess. There it is. I don't know what the fuck is with you. What the, did I write down yours? Yeah, you had the nine of pentacles. I did write it down. I did write it down. And I wrote down this one too. Uh, Leo had the eight of wands. And I said, make a note of that. I put underneath it on my post-it note. I said, but they might, fuck, yeah, they might fuck it up. I don't know. There's a lot of that. All right. Uh, the high priestess here. Um, you're kind of a, uh, there's a hidden energy around you. There's stuff that's about to happen. But right now, it's like break time in your energy. Enjoy it. Go within. Dream. Dream up where you want to go. Now is the time. Listen to me, Sexitarians. Anybody who identifies with position nine here or has felt that they, this might be something they should do, now is the time to manifest where you'd like to go. This is the perfect energy to do it in right now. Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Holy shit. That's fucking nice. Dream a little dream. Ten pentacles, right? Now is the time to envision, to visualize where you would like to go. Do a dream board. What some, some people do that. I, I don't find it's necessary, but whatever. Dream, dream, write it down on a board, write it down somewhere. However you do it, whatever it is, now's the time. But just don't keep ordering it. Okay, that's where people go wrong. All right, write it down. Walk away. Think of it like ordering food in a restaurant. You don't keep chasing the waitress around. Did you get my order? Did you get my... Yeah. Eventually, she's going to get pissed off and say, I got your fucking order. Now I'm going to ask you to leave. All right? Because you're just getting creepy. What's on top? Four of Pentacles. Uh, why is that here? Five of Wands. You might be tempted because there's the energy around you is very quiet. You might be tempted to sort of like the way some people their fears have trouble sleeping at night because their fears and anxieties creep in at two in the morning when everything is dark when the energy is quiet around you that can happen okay 
That's why it's extremely important that you indulge in some thoughts of where you'd like to go. That will keep the dragons at bay. All right? Okay. All right. You also might be someone who's inclined to think, oh, things are going too, too quiet right now. Something's going to happen. Right? You're bracing for impact. Pay attention to what I said to uh, position eight over here, the Scorpios, about self-fulfilling prophecies and snatching defeat from the hands of victory. All right? This is a golden opportunity for you. Don't let the dragons in. Right? All right. Who let the dragons in? I don't think they bark. Never mind. Uh, ten. Position ten. Capricorn. Nine of cups. Be your own best friend this week. You heard me. Be your own best friend. You could take that as dirty as you want. I don't care. I didn't mean it that way. But I know somebody out there was like, oh, I know what he means. I, I know I got that reputation, but I don't always mean touching yourself. All right? But go ahead. Yeah. Why not? Knock yourself out. I'm always for it. Um, but... At the end of the day, be your own best friend. That's the energy that's coming off of it. Make your own fun. This, this has an energy of like, like only children, you know? Only children tend to make their own fun. They have imaginary friends. They, you know, they just come up with all kinds of things. I don't know. I don't know how else to phrase it to you. Make your own fun. I don't know. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why'd you give me the Nine of Cups? Yeah. Son, all is well. It's the sun. It's the happiest energy. It is what it is. It's, it's, it's This person here is alone on the card making their own fun. All right? I don't know. What's on, what's, what's on top? The environmental energy is the sun. You're in a good mood. I don't know. Maybe. High priestess. Mm. Pay attention to what I told Sagittarius. This high priestess is tied to their high priestess, which is tied to their Friday reading. Pay attention to what I said. This is probably, there's a reason this is happening. There's a reason you're being told this. There's a reason you're being told to be your own best friend. Make yourself happy. Ride horses by yourself. Okay, it's okay. You can go out there alone. Have fun. Why is the high priestess here? The nine of pentacles. That was the Friday card for Sagittarius. The nine of pentacles. So why, why, why? We got to pull a bridging energy. I'm going to do it. Give me the bridging energy. So basically, you're being told, follow the same advice I gave Sagittarius on Friday and today. Okay? Just trust me on this one. I have no idea why. I don't remember what you got yesterday. I don't know. But the universe is trying to keep you in a good headspace so that you'll deal with something that's coming towards you a lot better. If you're already in a bad mood with the energy I feel coming in, if you're already in a bad mood when that arrives, all fucking hell is going to break loose. All right? I don't know. What's pull of bridging energy? What's the bridging energy here for Capricorn? Wow, we've had a weird reading today. As if this reading isn't long enough usually. Now i got to pull bridging energies on a few. Yeah, ten, ten, ten of Wands coming, crossed by the Nine of Cups, which is your base energy here anyway. It's a big nine of cups sandwich. Think of the nine of cups as the two slices of bread and all the shit in between. Pay attention to what I said over here. The energy, all's quiet. In your own mind, everything is fine. You got somebody bringing their problem to you. Okay? Somebody you have a soul connection with, is, and you do, is bringing their shit to your house. And you just need to be in la la land. Alright? Be just fine. It's fine. It's cool. Just leave it over there. Whatever. I know I've had days like that. But I'm in such a good mood, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I think, pay attention to what I said. Especially with the sun, the original sun crossing. Because I knew something, I felt something heavy coming. All right? People do this all the time. They, they, they think that you're the shit. They think that you're happy. You're having a, Whenever you're having a good day, there's inevitably going to be somebody that wants to dump their shit on you. Okay? All right, it is what it is. Aquarius. Position 11, sometimes my other wild card. You already showed up over here. Let's see. The sun. Jesus, unreal. Unreal. You know, you know what that means, right? Capricorn, position 10. The sun, well, I didn't, I didn't reshuffle. The sun was the next card out. So you had the nine of cups crossed by the sun from another deck. But had I just pulled the next card, it would have been also the sun. Right? You follow? You damn well better listen to what I said there. Because those are some crazy odds. Alright? 
That's fucking wild. And on top of all that, you ended up with also a Nine of Cups being a final crossing card on the Nine of Cups. With right in the middle, somebody bringing the burden. So the universe is piling on a bunch of happy cards, a bunch of liberating cards, a bunch of nice cards, a bunch of dreamland cards. All because somebody coming to dump their shit on you. All right? And I don't remember what you got on Friday, but if I said something about somebody coming to dump shit on you, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, the sun, why is it here? Aquarius. Uh, this is you. This is you guys showing up again. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with you guys showing up here. I will tell you that. Um, some of you have a butthole you need to have checked out at the doctor. Go get that looked at. Okay? Just make sure. Um, it's my inflamed butthole energy. Um, I don't know what to tell you on this. It, it's it, All that's coming off of it is bright light. And I don't mean to say that you're croaking it or kicking the bucket. It's just a bright light. Why? It's crossed by the Four of Swords. It's healing. It, that's why it feels good. There's some kind of if you've been feel, oh, okay, I know why. Look, I don't joke about anything that's not in the energy. Why did I bring up, why, somebody out there is going, why did he have to say that? I have that thing, um, I have that welt on my butt. Now I've got to make an appointment with a doctor. Well, maybe, but I really said it because I felt the healing energy here. If you haven't been feeling good emotionally or even physically to some degree, but if you need to see a doctor, go see a fucking doctor. But uh, you're, about to get, you're about to go through a major period of healing that starts this week. And I, I don't, I'm not going to blame, I'm not going to dump it all on Venus and Scorpio. But there is a massive amount of healing that's happening. It has something to do with Venus. It has something to do with Venus, though. It does have something to do with Venus and Scorpio. But something to do with Venus in your natal chart as well, I would imagine. Okay? Uh, wherever Venus is in your chart. Okay? When you were born. What does the sign that Venus was in when you were born? That's gonna what, what, whatever position that is. Second house would be like income. It'll it'll be a lot of healing there, etc., etc., etc. You know, uh, fourth house, home and family. You know that kind of thing. What's on top? Nine of Swords. Yeah, a lot of healing to. Again, look, she's not doing well. She's not sleeping. She's not feeling well, either emotionally or physically. Uh, there's some kind of healing coming. Nines of the end in tarot. Look, I'm making this shit up. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The world. You're drifting into. Come on. Why am I your second favorite? Did you see what I just did? Even starting with my first anal joke about the fucking see a doctor. I mean, it's it's all here. This is the most powerful card I could pull. It's very auspicious. It's a happier card than this, even, arguably. Because it is the most auspicious energy when it's upright. It's fabulous. You're coming into a new zone where you're feeling better. You're looking better. Things are looking up. Your attitude is better. It's just this is going away right there. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe you're getting stronger. You know, age makes you stronger. You, the older you get, even if it's just by a day, you get stronger and stronger and braver and braver. You do. It must be true. Stevie Nicks sang about it, right? Time makes you bolder. Even children get older. And I'm getting older too. That's right. Pisces, position 12. Red with position 1. And position five. Don't know why five, but it is. Empress. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, you're gonna have to be the big girl this week. Okay? I'm just gonna put it out there like that. Well, I don't care if you're a dude. You're gonna have to be the big girl. Take it for what take it how it resonates. It's cryptic. You you know, especially if you're a dude, you're like, Well, how am I gonna be the big girl, Steve? Okay, burly man. Chill out. Right? I don't know. Get you an epa lady and try shaving your beard with it. I don't, ow! Fuck! You know, I don't know. Um, you're going to have to be the big girl this week. All right. Let's find out why. Probably you're going to have to be the one with the emotional EQ. Okay? The highest EQ. The emotion, the highest, the smartest emotional one. The emotionally smarter one. Phrasing it in a lot of different ways. <gasps> Makes sense. It's red with position one and five. I got somebody here who chickens out at the last minute. I got somebody here who can't, who does nothing about something too powerful because they don't know what to do. Right? They don't know how to answer the question, so they just keep talking and talking and talking and hope nobody, hope nobody figures it out. Or they don't know how to relate to these feelings and they just keep 
talking and talking and talking and hope that you don't figure it out. Whatever it is, you're going to have to be the big girl. Okay? Mm. Um, I'm done shuffling. It's crossed by the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. You get something you wanted this week. And again, I'm not a fucking time lord. It could happen next week. It might happen in the middle of fucking October. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. I can't account for the free will decisions you've made in your life. The energy is you're at different spots in the flow, right? I mean, you might stand at the same spot in a river and s different things float by at different times, right? The stick went in the water. The stick that's coming by now went in the water before the fucking, I don't know, the piece of garbage that comes by after it. I mean, it's just the way it is. So, that being said, not to mention our free will decisions aren't just ours, right? You may make a free will decision to decide when you go to the grocery store. I'm going to go to the grocery store. That's fine. Whether or not you return from the grocery store in one piece is, deter is completely dependent upon the free will decisions of literally hundreds of people that you don't know that are out there on the road or not that are doing what, I mean, it literally, it, it's not just about you. That's why sometimes things don't happen. The reading will say the energy is right for something to happen, but that's all it can tell you. I can't account for free will decisions, and I'm not just talking about yours. Your free will decisions are bound by hundreds of other people, people you don't even know. You got people in other countries making decisions right now that will affect you in your life in some way. The ripple effect, it's huge. So keep that in mind. All right? Even simple decisions. Whether or not you return from the grocery store could depend on whether or not someone else on the other side of town decides to stay home or not, okay? Or decides to leave at uh, 10.05 instead of uh, 9.50, you know? I mean, it can play out a lot of different ways. What's so tough? Karma. I'm just trying to teach you something about energy. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, they really, you'd be surprised. People, people think that they're making decisions. I always get those people who come to me and say, I don't want to be in a universe where I'm controlled. You're fucking controlled by everybody, motherfucker. Their fucking decisions, the decisions of people you don't even know are deciding what happens to you, whether you live or die, whether you realize it or not. You're just one piece in the puzzle. Everything is energy and everything is connected. It's a, it's a broad thought. It's very difficult for a lot of people. Most people think very linear. Okay, Most people. That's why I tell you, don't be like most people. Be better. Most people are fucking idiots. Don't be like most people. And you certainly are not if this card is coming out for you. This is judgment. You don't come out for a bang in a bar parking lot. All right, you have, you're getting what you want, but it coming with it is some karma. And I did not go on a dissertation about free will and decisions for no fucking reason. So if you decided to fast forward through everything I was just saying, I suggest you rewind, okay? I don't say anything in these readings that isn't part of the energy and isn't important to you translating the energy. All right? I'm sorry. I'm one of those channels that makes you think. I apologize, but that's that's what real energy reading is. Okay? Nothing cut and dry. Nobody regretting it turning around and coming back. That's not a fucking reading. It's not. So you're getting what you want, whatever it is. I don't know, but it's coming in a way that you might not have envisioned it. Okay, is what the cards are saying. Because there's some karma attached to it. You're going to have to be the big girl. And I'm harping on this because I'm not your astrologer. It doesn't matter that this is Pisces. This is the end of the story. It's a big deal. It's as important as the beginning of the story. This is important. It's coming with some karma attached to it. Empress. Why is that here? The Empress. It's up to you to solve that karma. How do you... It, it is. Look. Look at the fucking cards. You're getting what you want. It only ends up the picture that you wanted if you are the big girl. In other words, you're the smarter emotional one. Somebody else isn't. So, so if somebody else can't tell you why they're there, you're going to need to tell them why they're there. Okay? You're going to need to be the energy reader. You, don't, you have no idea how many times on a weekly fucking basis I tell someone why we're having a conversation. Because they don't seem to, because they don't seem to know. Okay? And I do it a lot here on these readings. I tell you why I'm telling you something. Because a lot of people won't know. They just won't put it together. All right. Here we go. 
Let's have the universe add all this up. This is a powerful week. I mean, look at what I had. To, I had to do bridging energies in three positions. Fucking hell. All right, let's go. Grab the light seer. Add it up, universe. What actions the incoming energy is going to take this week? Wow. Some wicked stuff. Let's see where we go here. Come on now. Okay. Three cards and a bottom card. The bottom card is you. Queen of Pentacles. Look at you. Male or female. Doesn't matter. No genders attached to these cards. Right? Or some of you are both. That's fine. I don't care. I don't judge. It's not my job. At the end of the day, Queen of Pentacles. That's you. Man, you're looking good. You're looking fine. You're looking strong. You've got your listening antlers on. You're listening sticks in your ears, right? Because you're listening. Because there's a whisper of fucking truth in a loud sea of bullshit and double talk, right? Ah, uh, temperance. Three of wands. Hermit. What's fuel on this? The emperor. The emperor's coming to see you. Okay? But, it's what I meant over here about you being the big girl, you're also going to have to be the big boy too. You're just going to have to be the bigger person. Okay? You're gonna, that's why two emperors, I now know, I now get it, universe. Clever, very funny sense of humor. Why two empresses came out, right? Because you, you, it's not an empress and an emperor. It's two empresses. You're going to have to be, it's going to require a lot of emotion from you in dealing with people this week. You're going to have to understand that people aren't really telling you how they feel, that people are double talking, that people are hiding, people are wearing masks, and you're going to have to have empathy for that. And again, also try to figure out how you can improve the situation at the same time without taking control of the situation. In other words, there's no emperor here. You might be like, well, why didn't they pull the empress and the emperor, Steve, if I'm both? Because uh, you have to make it seem like it was other people's idea when you fix things, when you get the truth out of them, okay? And you can't do that if you take control, if you take both sides. That's why it is, it's two empresses. So not only are you understanding the situation, not only are you feeling, but you're helping the situation, you're solving the karma, through being emotionally smarter than somebody else and emotionally tricking them into thinking that it was their idea to share how they feel. Okay? That's all I can tell you. Uh, there's a lot of healing to be had this week, but it requires opening up. And getting people to be honest with you this week is going to be tricky. It'll get less tricky after the 1010 portal. I will tell you that. And we'll get to that when we get to October. But for right now, that what came out here is why there's two empresses here. So that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Okay, good luck.